Hello my friends of Team Pixel and we got another Pixel video for you guys today in the form of the Pixel 6a but more importantly just talking about Android 15 beta 2. Now if you're not in the Android uh, beta program don't worry about it. This is why I do these videos so that way you guys don't have to and therefore you know risk any uh, issues with your device. But what I wanted to go over basically is Android 15 beta 2 and beta 2.1. If you didn't know, 2.1 was released on May 20th. And the reason that they released a, you know, 0.1 version was that there was an issue with Android 15 beta 2. Um, this basically was just because if you were creating a private space on your device for the first time, it removed app icons from the home screen. So they fixed that issue and, um, you know, they posted the ticket issue number so that way people would know. But literally, what is new in Android 15 Beta 2? Uh, it's just more on the software side. So you would see, you know, more efficient AV1 software decoding, modernizing Android's GPU access, private space, query most recent user selection for selected photo access, richer widget previews with uh, generated previews for API, picture and picture, uh, set vibration effects for notification channels, improved large screen multitasking, permission checks on content URIs, improvements for Canvas, improved open type variable font for API, CJK variable font, automatic line break configurations, and then a uh, new Japanese um, hiragana font. Besides from that, behavioral changes to expect would be support for 16 kilobit page sizes, require changes from some apps to support private space, Increased minimum target SDK version from 23 to 24. Predictive back animations enabled for apps that opted in. Changes to when apps can modify the global state of do not disturb mode. Open JDK 17 changes. Secured background activity launches. Safer intense text view with changes for complex letter shapes. And local aware default line height for edit text. Um, so everything is pretty much software based. It's not really going over so much as, you know, like changes you can definitely see through the user interface because Android 15 is not a major UI overhaul. So when it comes to that, the behavior of the phone seems to be pretty decent. Um, cameras and everything function pretty good. So you guys could have been watching. You guys can see a little demo and I should have also a little screen grab on the side so you guys can just see it more closer. Um, the behavioral of Android 15 beta 2.1 on the device is um, smooth. It's still good. Um, like I said, you know, there's nothing really drastically changed. So therefore, uh, it is behaving and responding as it should. Um, all functionalities of the camera is working just fine. I'm not finding any hiccups or any issues at all whatsoever, taking photos or even taking video. Aside from that, using the assistant on the device, works pretty good in itself, both for the Google Assistant and Gemini, whichever you choose to use. So I can do the daily tasks and things that I need to get done using uh, the Smart Assistant to aid me throughout my day, and it will take care of the things that I need it to. And as far as battery performance, if anyone's wondering, has the battery changed? You know, do you see like a dramatic decrease in battery percentage with usage or anything like that? No, I don't see that at all whatsoever. You got to remember that Android beta program is, a, in fact, what it is, beta. A lot more of the bug issues and things not working, crashing, or any of that sorts is going to be in, in the developer preview, which comes before the beta. The beta is pretty much almost like full-fledged, done. It's just they want to see how it would work in real-world situations. But at the same time, too, it's a risk of installing beta on your Pixel because it does void the warranty. So if anything goes wrong and the phone soft bricks where you can't even get into the operating system booting on, you can't really expect the warranty to, to you know cover your device and replace it as it gives you that little warning when you're about to accept the terms and services for going into Android beta. So you got to keep that in mind. But above everything else with the Google Pixel 6a, I mean, the experience is going to be very similar with the 7, the 7a, um, and even the 8 in 8a if they are already in the beta program last i remember they were not but they might be now um, as we're going forward and if we're seeing any types of features added in that's coming for the full-fledged android 15 os we may see that in beta 3 or 4 as those are where they really start to test the new features that are coming to android 
and also iron out those bugs regarding it. So um, for me, I got to say it, it's pretty decent, but I am watching it very closely just to see any other behavioral issues. And if there is, I will definitely update you guys on that. But that is it for my video. If you guys enjoyed what I have to say, smash the like button, share this. Thanks for watching.